Kiku with Simon Tion. We're going to look live at the Neptune Pine smartwatch in just a minute. It's going to change the way you use your phone. It is CES 2014. It's Chris Miller, Spike Studio. I sit with Simon and we learn all about the Neptune Pine smartwatch. Simon, it's good to meet you in person finally. I've seen nice you a little bit everywhere. Uh, I've talked to Aaron before, your yeah. CTO, but the Neptune Pine smartwatch. Everyone wants to know a little bit more about it in person. I've already yeah. gone the tech specs. So you're wearing it hidden under your sleeve. Yeah. So let's talk about it a little bit. So basically it's a completely independent smartwatch. It doesn't need uh, the, the presence of a nearby smartphone to function. It has a 2.4 inch screen, which, uh, which allows it to run most of the Android applications already existing. So as you can see here, I can, can scroll through all the apps uh, very fluidly here. Uh, Snapdragon S4, dual core processor, Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, uh, NFC, uh, all of that is already built in. Is there anything not in the phone? <laughs> let, let me reverse it, because I did it with Aaron, so we can link to the other video, but I did it with Aaron, yeah. but is there anything not in the phone? It, it's got, uh, so it's got a speaker phone. Yeah. It's got uh, the Bluetooth capability for headphones. Yeah. It's got an accelerometer. Yes. Gyroscope? Gyroscope, e-compass, pedometer, GPS. Okay. Yes. And okay, so now let's talk about the actual phone part. People think it's just a smartwatch. Yeah. It can be tethered, but it's an actual phone. It's an actual phone. There's a micro SIM card slot right here. So you just plug it in. Uh, all the GSM networks, uh, quad band GSM, quad band 3G are supported out of the box. Unlocked phone? Unlocked, yes. Okay, and also uh, it has cameras. We didn't mention those. Yes, two cameras. So one front facing camera here with flash. So you can video chat with your friends or use it as a flashlight, you know, as an occasional flashlight. And there's also uh, camera on the back, 5 megapixel camera, and because it's removable, we're designing different strap uh, accessories, different straps in different colors and fashions, and also we have uh, other accessories like helmet mounts, so you can mount it on your helmet and use it as a GoPro camera, actually, as a POV camera, yeah. Now, we talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about pricing and availability in just a minute, but let's talk about the, uh, the actual watch band and everything else. Yeah. Uh, is it going to be is just black? Are there other ones? We had the white one right there, the okay. polar white, we'll and, the, and the jet black. Okay. And uh, we're definitely open to uh, other colors uh, in the future. Okay. Sitting here with Simon again, we're going to talk about pricing and availability. As soon as I ask one more question about the watch itself, and you were talking about the networks and all the ones it works on, we're talking a global phone that runs an Android-based operating system? Android Jelly Bean, yes. Android Jelly Bean, and then globally. So it's unlocked. I can put in SIMs Unlock, as I go. Quad band GSM, quad band WCDMA, and UMTS, so yes. Uh, basically anywhere on the globe. Anywhere on the globe. So I should tell everybody, I am I, one of the uh, Kickstarter backers. So I got in. There's, it had nothing to do with oh, seeing him. This is, so you're a founder. I'm one of the founders, actually, now. I found out when I went to the Kickstarter. So let's talk pricing and availability. Yes, yeah, so uh, the Neptune Pine is going to retail at 335 for the 16 gigabyte and 395 for the 32. Uh, was there a, is there an extra XD storage? You mentioned 16 and 32. Is it all onboard storage? Yes, it's onboard. So okay. it's non-removable. Okay. Uh, and... Um, it, yeah, that, those are the prices, and it's going to be available by mid-March if you re, if you uh, order it right now okay. on, our, on our site. And one other thing I should uh, mention about the Kickstarter is you guys got a lot of enhancement into the watch when yes. you did the Kickstarter. Yes, during the Kickstarter, yeah. What did you add it in? Uh, uh, tempered glass or uh, a, a tougher glass. Uh, we have uh, water resistance, um, WCDMA version, uh, extra watch band that we're still designing at this point. Yeah, a ton of them. You can see it, see them on our Kickstarter website. Uh, we launched the Kickstarter campaign in November. We got Eight hundred thousand um, dollars instead of a hundred thousand that we were aiming for in like a week. No, I mean it was longer, but it yeah, seemed yeah, like a week. Yeah. Uh, URL. Where can they find the order now? Uh, you can go on our website, neptunepine.com. You can learn uh, all about it, and you can order it directly uh, on our website. I want to thank Simon for taking the time. We are he is packed with people at the booth. I'm Chris Miller, Spike Studio, as I do notes online. Watch all our reviews on TPN.TV, and we will have more reviews for you shortly.